Hello, how are y'all? I hope you had a great, great Mother's Day. Um, we had a wonderful Mother's Day with a great drive-in service, yeah. and it was really fun. And um, But today, I actually got um, online and listened to our pastor, Pastor Rick and Michelle Bizet, who did an amazing job. Michelle shared... I love when she shares because I it's just so real and um, true. And so, so today I'm gonna do something from her message. So I'm gonna start with two little blobs up here. So that I'm doing little blobs. These are some random little petals that that I'm doing on the edges. And then um, we're gonna go from there. I'm going to bring out some some leaves. We're gonna kind of do um, a little border here. I'm just gonna go straight straight down with my leaves. But um, what, something that she shared about was from Ephesians 3, verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than anything we could ask or imagine, according to his power that is work within us. And she was talking about, she wishes she could go back and tell the young version of herself with her, with her young, young babies when they were really little, um, she wishes she could go back and say, you know, God is able and to say that she knew that, but that she would, you know, truly live, uh, um, which I think she does. Um, but she was saying just live as though she knows that, um, and just seeing how God's faithfulness in the years now that her children are grown and out of the house. Um, anyway, it was just a very powerful message. It's on our Facebook page. I'd love for you to listen to it. But um, so that's what we're painting today. So I'm starting with my roses and three little leaves on each side, and then I'm going to bring out um, I'm going to bring out just a few little lines here, a few little lines here, and then I'm going on those lines. I'm going to do little leaves on either side, here and there. But I love this scripture because I've always heard the scripture and it's, it, of course, such a powerful scripture, but I never had thought about it in relation to motherhood of just all the little worries I have over my children and just that she was, you know, she's she's run the race. Her children, um, they love the Lord. They're all serving the Lord. I love their example of doing ministry as a family. And um, so it's something I've really enjoyed just being an observer just watching and um, something I've tried to implement in my own life. But this is a, a scripture that I think I need to implement just in my daily trust of my, of my kids, you know, whether I'm worried about something that they're, something they're going through or whether they're going to make good choices or not. Um, you know, whether I can trust them on their own right now, I'm just doing little blue dots right here all the way around to add a little different color here and there. Um, but the main part she focused on was that God is able. And as she's seen her kids grow up and she's seen the fruit of her work, um, just of her investment and her prayer, uh, I, I was just, I don't know, it just, it caught me, I wouldn't say off guard, but it, it just encouraged me because I, I just never thought of it like that. So today, we're all we're going to write is from that scripture, from Ephesians 3.20, we're going to write, He is able, just the very first part of that verse. So I'm going to start with, let's see, I'm always guessing right now with my colors. I'm going to do blue. You know, I always have to go with the blues. They make me so happy. So I'm going to start with doing my He going at a diagonal. I'm not going to use any lines today, but if you would like to get out a pencil and use some lines to make your uh, line to follow, go for it. Then on the downstrokes, with that foligraphy, we are going to thicken those lines. But this is something I definitely struggle with with my kids, and I have great faith for other people and other situations, even, even at, you know, with church and, um, uh, just pretty much every situation, except when it comes to my kids, 
that's where I struggle. I struggle with knowing, okay, God, can you take care of this? Can you take care of this situation where this person's not being nice to my kid? Or can you take care? I want to go fix it myself. And just to be reminded that he is able has, it was just kind of, um, mind blowing for me, um, in relation to motherhood and in relation to trusting God with my children. So essentially I've done two words in folligraphy. So just my cursive. And then on the downstrokes, I thicken the line, thicken the line to make it look like I was using a calligraphy pen. Now on able, I'm going to go all the way across with my block lettering. It's not going to be pretty right at first, but we will, we'll make it pretty here in a second. Able. We're going to make a few extra lines on here. Okay. Now I'm going to go with a smaller brush from what I was using and I'm going to do a little line. And obviously this was pertaining to Mother's Day whenever she was speaking yesterday, but I think this could be a reminder for any of us in all situations, especially right now, um, in the midst of uncertain future, in the midst of trying to figure out how to homeschool, in the midst of um, trying to figure out how to love people well and make sure people don't feel alone right now. That God is able, God is able to do immeasurably more than all we could ask or imagine. I remember one time a few years ago, Priscilla Schreier came to Women Conference at New Life Church and she spoke on this verse and I'll never forget, I'll never forget just how eloquent and how amazing, anyway, I just stood in awe and I absolutely loved that message. Let's see here. So essentially, I'm just making a parallel line to like one of the, one of the, per, the up and down lines um, vertical lines, I couldn't think of that word, uh, on able, on those words. I'm making also, as you can see, like here with the L, I've brought that up with the E right here. And so with watercolor, I can kind of come back in and make it look like I did it all in one stroke, just adding, just kind of blending it. And obviously you saw that I did not do that all in one stroke. And then right here, across, he is able. Now, just to give it a little bit of dimension, I'm going to make these little letters right here, just like little ladders. Today is Coco's day to paint with me. And if you'll notice, my hands are super moisturized because Coco just gave me a massage because she gave me a gift certificate for my, for Mother's Day that she would give me a massage. It was phenomenal. You should you should go visit her spa. It's wonderful <laughs> and it was so relaxing. And later I'm scheduled for a facial, so I'm very excited about that. We're very fancy over here. And today, and she's really gotten into Good Luck Charlie, and so she gets a little special time. Just me and her, and she's decided to watch Good Luck Charlie and drink our favorite ice drink. Okay, he is able. Now, I'm going to use pencil to sign my name at the bottom. And I'm going to go over that in just a second with a wash. And then up here, I'm going to actually do my verse reference at the top. Ephesians, and I'm just using a regular pencil. You could use a pen. You could do it in watercolor if you wanted to. Um, something I wish that I would have had for all of these um, all of these lettering classes is maybe a fine tip sharpie. That would be really a handy thing to have because um, you could do all that lettering and it theoretically will not um, bleed on you. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of wisteria right here, which is just purple little dots. I love that flower. It smells so good in the springtime. So essentially I brought a, put a bunch of purple little dots and I almost make sort of like an uneven triangle. It's a great filler for any time you're doing any kind of lettering with water with uh, sorry with flowers. 
So it just kind of fills in the space. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of red to my roses, just to kind of give them a little bit of shading. But again, that's a very simple, simple rose. You could bring it all the way around if you want, but I would keep it darker on one side. Now, with my smaller brush again, I'm gonna go for my black. And because we only have a few words on this, I'm going to shade them right here. So essentially I'm acting where the, wherever the light hits is where I'm touching. So to give me some little lines and kind of make it pop off the page. And then we're gonna do a color wash and then we'll be done. but I hope y'all had a great Mother's Day. Something I love, the heart behind our church is they always wanna make sure, um, Rick and Michelle always wanna make sure that women know Mother's Day can be very hard. It can be grieving a loss, it could be longing for a child and you haven't had that joy and just knowing that God will still provide, but that God is there, he is the God who sees you even in the heartache and we want you to know that we see you, even whenever things are not going, not going great, but that the Lord is there to comfort. They also have a heart to remind women that I feel like everybody has a heart to mother. All women have a job to mother others well. And I love seeing women who maybe are empty nesters or, um, you know, long for a baby and haven't had one yet. I just love seeing it when those women are reaching out to other people. I feel like that's just the the best example to me of loving people even whenever things are hard. It gives me hope. Okay, so right now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use yellow for my wash. You do not have to use yellow. You could use a light blue. I mean, any color, you go for it. Whatever, if you want to give this to your mama, whatever color she loves. But I love yellow. It's going to make this bright and cheerful. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go all the way around those letters. I'm going to go over any of my, I messed up right there. I'm going to try to get that out of there. Um, blend it in. But I'm going to come all the way around on my flowers. Come in here around my letters. So what I'd like to do is I like to start with the color on the outside, right here. And then I like to just add water to it to bring it in. So that way it's kind of lighter on the inside. If that makes sense. The color's gonna be on the outside, it's gonna be a lighter yellow on the inside by the wording. And that's just my preference. You don't have to do it that way. My kids think I'm so funny. We always talk about our favorite colors. We're in that, that stage where everybody wants to know your favorite color. And they think it's so funny that yellow is my favorite color. I like all the colors, but yellow was my grandma's favorite color and it just makes me happy. It just brings some sunshine. When I was growing up, my sweet dad painted my room yellow, mostly yellow and a little bit of blue, but he's not very artistic and he took the time to do stripes all over my wall and I'll never forget that. All in yellow. There we go. So may you be reminded that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than anything we could ask or imagine. <clears throat> Go watch that video of Michelle sharing her heart. It's amazing. And I hope you have a great day.